Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to model a bookshelf with a top overhang. And this video will give you a refresher on how to create solids, curves, layers. And in the second video, I'm going to show you how to make your 2D plans from your 3D model. And then in the third and final video, I'll show you how to make your cut list. So um, when you open up your template file, you're going to make sure that grid snap is on, ortho is on, so all we make are straight lines, and smart track is off. And I've enabled my object snap, so I could see my object snaps here, but nothing is activated. So I have my layers. It's currently set in default. I'm going to rename this curves because that's what I'm going to start off with. And we're going to take the polyline, and I'm going to start off with a... Uh, I'll double click on front view to maximize it. And from my sketch, the top of my bookshelf is at three feet. So I can look right down here to the coordinates or I can count the boxes and I'm at 36 inches right here. So if the top is at three feet, I wanna start modeling down. So coming down three quarter inches, you can see this number right here, we'll say three quarter inches or I could type in 0.75. And I'm gonna go over four feet and back to point. So this is now a closed curve. Okay, it's a closed curve. If I go to object properties, it tells me when it's selected, it's a closed curve. If nothing is selected, it doesn't tell you anything really. When you click on an object, it tells you what it is. It's a closed curve and it's in my curve layer. So I'm gonna go back to layers here. Now I wanna build my two sides. So in my sketch, I didn't tell, I didn't say how far the overhang was and I figured I could try to figure that out when I model this here. So I'm going to start off with a three inch overhang, one, two, three inches. And I'll bring my line down here. And I need to think of joinery. So I'm going to come down a, basically so I have room for another three quarter inch piece of wood here underneath this. So I'm going to go over here, over three quarter inches. And I'm just zooming and panning all the way back up to the top, and I have to close the curve, so I go back to the point. Okay, This is a closed curve now. I can do the same thing on the other side, or I can just copy this over. So I'm going to copy this. Here's the copy command. I'm going to, it says up here in the command line, select objects to copy is this. Press enter when done, so I'm just going to right click or hit enter. And now it says point to copy from. I'm going to just copy right from here, point to copy to. And since ortho is on, it's nice and straight. If ortho was off, it would be all crooked and I'd have a hard time aligning it. But I'm going to turn ortho on. You can also hold down the shift key. So right now I'm crooked, hold down shift, and it keeps it nice and straight. So it's a little bit of a quicker way to do it. But I'll just turn ortho on. And I'm going to count three boxes back. Okay. So now if I'm done copying, I can just hit enter or right click. Okay. So, so far, I think the proportions look nice. I'm going to now make my bottom piece, okay? And I will take my polyline and just come on down all the way across and back to point. All right. Now I'm going to do some shelves. So I'm going to I do want to do dado shelves. And if I go to start this, I can see that I, I can't get into the middle of the shelf here. And that's because my snap spacing is set at a quarter of an inch. So I can change that by click going onto Tools, Options, and then Grid. Okay, and it says right here my snap spacing is 0.25. I'll show you another way to get to it. If you right click on Grid, Grid Snap here, you can go to Settings. And I'm, it takes me right to here. So I'm just going to half, I'm going to change my snap spacing to an eighth of an inch. So half of 25 is 12 and a half. Half of 0.25 is 0.125. I just hit OK. Now this will allow me to get right in the middle here for my dado, my 3 eighths dado. So for this project, I'm just going to come up 3 quarter inches right here into the middle, come down, okay, closed curve, and I'll copy this shelf from here, 
right up to here. Okay, so I think that looks good. You could definitely be more accurate with the spacing, um, but this is just for a lesson on how to model. Um, if you wanted to be more accurate with the spacing, though, you could do some construction lines and say that, you know, from here to here, I wanted this to be, say, um, 11 inches. Okay, and so that opening is now 11 inches. I could drag this shelf down to 11 inches. Okay, and then I could do the same thing, and the top one will be taller. I would recommend the bottom shelf always be the tallest. It looks a little nicer. Okay, and then you just delete this construction line. So any way you want to space them out. So now what we're going to do is if we double click on front, you can see that these are just two dimensional curves. We're going to now extrude these as solids. So I should make a new layer and I'm going to call it three quarter inch birch plywood. And I'm going to change the color by clicking on the color, making it a brown. Make it a little bit of a lighter brown. And I'm going to activate it by putting a check mark in here. So we're going to go to solid, extrude planar curve, straight. Select curves to extrude. Okay, I'll select all of these. You could do them one at a time if you want, but these are all closed curves, so I'm just going to extrude them all at once. So select curves to extrude, press enter when done. So I can hit enter or right click. And it says the extrusion distance. Okay. I'm extruding this just to 12 inches. So I'll type in 12 and then hit enter. And you can see here that I have my extrusion, but it's still in a wireframe model. So if I right click on perspective, I can go to a shaded display. And if I right click in top view, I can go to shade display. And you could also just right click, which is a repeat command. And it changes these to shaded just by right clicking. Okay, so here is my, my shelf. My, 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 with my nice overhang. And you may want to add the back. The back we use a quarter inch piece of Luon, so I'll make a new layer and I'll call it quarter inch Luon. And this one, again, I'll make it brown, but this time maybe I'll go with the default reddish brown here. So for this one, I'll show you another tool to make a very simple rectangle. You could actually use the box tool. Okay, so. I can start off right here and if I come down, this is an eighth, this is a quarter, and then I just pull that box tool all the way across. Whoops, I went too far. Okay, so I'll show you a quick way to fix this. I went too far on both sides. So, in this view here, I'll go back to a wireframe so I can see where it's supposed to be. I can drag it right to the end of the plywood here. And now I can see it's way too big over here. So I could just remake it, but I'm going to scale it down. So it's called a scale 1D. I'm just scaling it across my x-axis. I want it to shrink across the x-axis. So scale 1D, select objects to scale. Is this thin piece of Luan, origin point is the this corner i don't want this to change scale factor or first reference point is the end of it and i just scale it all the way down to the other piece of plywood here and then now it's good all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hide my curve layer by clicking on the light bulb and I'm going to make my dados. These pieces, they look like they're dadoed, but they're not because this piece does not have the notch in it yet. So to do that, I'm going to use the solid difference command. So solid difference. It says select surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. These are my solids. The poly surface is a solid. Um, so I'm going to click on this and this. Hit enter. And then to select solids to subtract with is this and this. Hit enter. And here it is. It made my dados. Okay. That's your model. I'm running out of time. So thanks for watching. I'm going to move on to the next video.